Hello everyone, it's Roman from Natively and today I will show you how to integrate Natively with your Webflow website. As you can see, I have already created my application on Natively platform, added the Webflow URL of my website and also set up the push notification with a OneSignal account. Uh, filled up all distribution information for App Store and created my first build. If you just start to check other natively tutorials on our YouTube channel and come back. Okay, let's start. On the right side, you can see a live recording from my iPhone, so we can check how the app works on the real device. Let's run our app and see what we got. Natively displays a mobile version of our website and everything works pretty smooth. If you need to make any changes, it will be directly displayed in the app without rebuilding your application. For now, we don't have any native features integrated yet, so let's do that for push notification. Uh, navigate to your Webflow editor, go to the project settings and click custom code tab. In the head code, you need to insert the code from the our documentation. You can find it in how to get started section. At that point, we have added natively SDK uh, library to your website and implemented natively on load function. After that, we need to add an instance of natively notifications class and then Call request permission function. Save the changes and publish it to the website. As you can see, system requested notification permission as we have implemented in our natively on load function. Let's allow it and continue. Now we can switch to the OneSignal dashboard and send a new push notification. Fill out the whole information and click review and send. The notification was successfully delivered to my phone it didn't show the top banner because I'm actually recording that. And thank you for watching this video and have a nice snow coding.